This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. I need to warn you, the video you are about to watch has been rated IC60 plus for interactive content in excess of 60 minutes. If you are not emotionally prepared for all the high hellos that are about to come and a full hour, a full hour of distractions, Weight Watchers or WW ideas and friendly content, hit stop now. I repeat, this is your only warning. Do not proceed further if you are not ready. But if you're like me and you like to make new friends on your weight loss journey, this is the video for you. We will be saying hi, hello, as this was filmed live. And if you ever get a chance to join us on Sunday nights, it's just over on the Facebook page, If You Have an Egg, A Weight Watcher's Journey, although I guess now we need to change it to a WW journey. Um, but we would love to see you live over there so that we can say hi and hello. And if you're new, please do give us a shout out. Let us know that you're new and where you're from so that we can all greet you. Also pay attention, um, running across the bottom right now, right now is some important information that you need for how to join us in other um, social media areas, how to get this free, how to watch this on demand, and how to make sure that you are always notified when we have a new chat come up. And more importantly, read, 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 read across the bottom. Right now, our affiliate links, which include discounts, are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Check those out. We get some great deals for the Egg Lady and for the Egglets. I hope you enjoy the at least 60 minutes of free weight loss journey content and that you will subscribe so that you can always be notified when we're coming up and that you can you will share with another um, weight loss journey buddy, a WW member um, who needs some help and so we can help each other along this journey. So thanks again and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, please comment below. Hope to see you Sunday. Hello and happy Sunday. It's Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, February the 17th. I don't know about where you live, but here in East Tennessee, we are a wet, soppy, soggy mess this week um, and today. So yeah, soggy hair. Dusty and I went out for a walk right before the chat started. So I'm wet from the waist down. I know y'all can't see that. But anyway, happy Sunday to everybody. Um, it's the start of a brand new week. We've got a lot of exciting things to talk about as usual. Um, so it is February the 17th. And if you are watching this later, if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. And if you want to skip the high hellos, please just scroll over to about 10 minutes because they're getting ready to start. Hello, Melissa, hello, Sylvia, hello, Pam, and hello, Wanda from Arizona. Hello, Carol Lou. Yeah, so for anybody who doesn't want to watch, see the high hellos, Again, don't know why. Hello, Irma. You can just skip on over. And it's so funny because people who complain about the hi hellos usually start the sentence with, hi, I don't like when you say hi, hello, hello, Tag, hello, Donna from St. Louis, and hello, Cindy. Yeah, oh, and Casey says her and Alyssa both say hello. Hello, Alyssa, and Casey. Um, hey, Rosie. So yeah, it's just funny because the people that complain always start start the conversation with hi or something you know like that anyway, and then complain about it. Hello, Stacy, and hello, Kim. So, for those of you who want who don't want to see the high hellos, again, if you're watching this later, just skip on over. Hello, Vicky, and hello, Sylvia from Canada. Yeah, hey, my Christy. And if you want to say hi, hello, say hi, hello. I would love to say hello to you. Hello, um, Mary Ann, and hello, Sandra. Yeah, and hello, Sylvia. Yeah, and so y'all, thank you. Y'all are telling Casey and Alyssa hello too. I know. Yes, Casey does get second billing. So yeah, my Christy, that happens. Yeah, that happens. So I don't think. Okay, Rosie says I'm a little blurry. And hello, Rhonda from Mississippi. And hello, Sandy from um, Northeast Kansas. So does anybody else think I'm um, blurry or is it just me? Is it just because I'm still a little bit wet? Hello, Asma and hello, Lisa. So we, Dusty and I got a little bit wet right before the chat. So maybe it's just, maybe I'm just glistening because it's soaking wet. And hello, Barbara from the crossroads. So Barbara, is it absolutely just pouring at your house? Yeah, it is here. Um, and hey, Sarah Ann. Oh, Sarah Ann can attend the work, her workshops for the next six weeks, so she's here. She's here with us, so welcome, welcome, and hello, Margaret, and hello, Charlene. Okay, so good. I'm all clear, except for being a little bit damp. Hello, Stacy. So, I am very damp from the west, from the waist down. Hello, Loretta, because it's soaking wet here. So, anyway, today is February the 17th, and can you believe it? It, it we are halfway through, we are halfway through February, so, um, 
it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. And of course, you know, and hey, Tedders. So, you know, everybody tells you this, your mom and everybody, you know, tells you this. Um, and yeah, Barbara's over the rain. And hello, Paula from Fort Kent, Maine. So your, um, Sorry, I've got to digress. Wanda, thank you. Um, Casey, oh, I'm sorry, Alyssa got this for me for um, Valentine's Day. Hey, hey, Vicki, and hello, Allison. Oh, 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 and Sandra from Dingman's Ferry says it is snowing there. No, 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 no. Aloha, Kathy. So, Kathy ha doesn't have any snow. Awesome, yeah. So, Kat, you know she doesn't have any snow. Um, and JJ's here looking for motivation. Very good, and thank you, Loretta. Yeah, so this scarf, Alyssa got this, um, for me for Valentine's Day. So yeah, she did a great job and she got me the cutest little mug that I'll have to send you all a picture of. Um, it says, what does it say, Casey? Abs are great, but have you tried donuts? Mm, yeah, so pretty funny, pretty hilarious. Yeah, hey Joyce. Um, yeah, so we're already halfway through February. Um, this year is just blowing by, blowing by, you know, and people always say when you're younger, you know, oh, don't wish the time away because when you, um, you know, because, and hey, Vicki, and so when you, Vicki's got warm Florida weather, so because, you know, it's going to go, um, Barbara, no, we don't need any snow. I can't deal with any snow. No, 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 no. And hey, Sherry, Sherry's got snow on the way in Connecticut. Hey, Jackie, and thank you, Pam. But anyway, they always tell you, you know, that it's going to fly by the older you get. They're serious. They're, they're so right. It flies by the older you get. And Sandra lost four pounds last week. Awesome. Hello, Letitia. Great. And hello, Darlene. Yes, rainy evening to you, too. Yep, she did a good job. I know she did a good job on the scarf. Yeah, and it's thin too, so you all notice I have it on, you know, during the chat and I'm not melting yet. Not melting yet because it's super thin. Anyway, we could talk about the scarf and we could talk about the rain all night. And hello, Trish from, let's see, cold and rainy earlier, Irvine, California. <laughs> and hello, Colleen. So, if you wanna watch this later, if you are live with us tonight, if you're live with us tonight, you can do thumbs ups and hearts, yeah you know, like Barbara was encouraging you to do. And hello, Donna. And yes, Janet. Um, uh oh, Donna says she's glad to be here because she missed her bottom being in, a, in her chair meeting. Uh oh, and hello, Renee. So if you wanna watch this again, well, anyway, if you're live, you can do thumbs ups and hearts. And so if you're watching this later, and thank you, thank you, Barbara, for that. If you are watching this later, you are not gonna see the thumbs ups and the hearts. Hello, Kathy. But you can just put some down in the comments. Or whatever okay and for some reason my phone is verifying an update that it's supposed to do tomorrow so hopefully you all are still there I do not want you to do your update right now um, and hello Sylvia um, so hello Betty from Memphis so can you all still see me because my phone is doing something really weird it's saying it's verifying an update that's not supposed to happen until tomorrow Anyway, hey Chris. So if you're watch, if you're gonna watch this later, um, you can watch it on YouTube. It's just YouTube.com. Um, search if you have an egg. And hey Jennifer, Jennifer hasn't been on here for a little while, um, and I really wish my phone would quit saying verifying update because it's really bothering me. But anyway, hopefully you all are still okay. Hopefully you all will come back to me, and you're gonna get to see me up close and personal because I had to switch to the iPad. So I'm gonna encourage you all to watch this again later, and hopefully the iPad is gonna let me see um, your comments. So. Sorry for that, I have no idea why my phone has decided to update right in the middle of our live chat. So hopefully everybody's coming back. Um, I will say hi, hello again, and this is super, super weird, super weird that my phone decided to do that right in the middle. And yeah, sorry, sorry you all are so close, but the iPad is like this close to me. Um, so yeah, again, so sorry about that. Do not know, I don't know what my phone was doing. Yeah, hey Angie, I have no idea why my phone is updating. So um, you all are on my iPad now, and I guess we have proven that the iPad works. So maybe that's not a problem. Um, but anyway, the phone decided while we were talking to do an update. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. But anyway, and hello Sarah, um, thank you. Uh, Alyssa got this for me. So hopefully you all will all find your way back. And hello Bernice from North Texas. Um, and since you all are so close in proximity to me now, hello Sandy. And for those of you that are just joining us and you don't even know, um, we had already started the chat once and had been talking for, I don't know, probably eight or nine minutes. Um, and hello Donna, and my phone decided to do an update in the middle of it. Not cool, not cool at all. So I'll be calling Apple. I'm just kidding, I'm not, I don't know who to call it Apple, but. Anyway, so we were just saying hi hellos. We were saying, um, and thanks Mindy. We were just talking about hi hellos and we were talking about, um, let's see, oh, how to watch this later. So if you need to go back and watch this later, you can just go to youtube.com and search if you have an egg. Um, or we this will be posted on Facebook, but sadly, 
sadly, yeah, and Tag says put it on manual updates. I did, and I told it to not update until after midnight tonight. So I have no idea. Um, yeah, they'll see you later, Angie. I have no idea why I decided to do it now because it's not midnight, as far as I know, in any time zone that we're even in. But anyway, so yeah, so y'all can watch this later on Facebook, and if you watch it later on Facebook, it'll be in two parts, I guess, or we'll be missing the first part of it because, um, yeah, and Carol, it's not on automatic updates. My phone is not on automatic updates, so I have no idea what it's doing. I do manual updates, and I told it to do it after midnight tonight. So anyway, whatever, it's got a mind of its own. So today is February the 17th, and I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com because we missed all that part. Um, because you know since my phone decided to do an update but anyway so we were just talking about how soggy it is here in East Tennessee and how much snow some of the rest of you all have so all I'm gonna say is if this had been snow as much is um, and hey Kim and hopefully your friend Karen is here um, so yeah so we're back so everybody who's popping back on um, I have no idea why my phone decided to update and take says it's midnight somewhere it ain't midnight here it's not midnight here hey Lisa um, so yeah, she's back too. So anyway, hopefully y'all are coming back on and um, looks like quite a few of you have already, you know, have found us and come back. So whatever iPhone, whatever. Hello Evie. So I don't know. They just have a mind of their own. But anyway, all I'm going to say is thank goodness this is not snow because if the amount of rain that we've gotten in this last week, hello Evie, was snow, we'd be up to here. We would be up to here, um, with snow and, um, yes. And hello again, Trish. So so yeah and Karen my accountability Karen is exactly right we need we do need a boat I mean I took Dusty um for a walk right before we started the chat and I'm not kidding I had on jeans I do not have on the jeans now because they were soaking wet and um but when we got back I I was soaked like my jeans were soaked almost up to my knees it was absolutely crazy but anyway so hey hello everyone Yes, Melissa, we're having a little bit of flooding, um, and I can't imagine it's just going to get worse. So I think we have a tiny break tomorrow, and then it's supposed to start raining again on Tuesday. So we're all buying, uh, we're all building arcs here, um, and anybody who would like to uh, donate money to the arc, you know, the arc fund of East Tennessee, we'll take it. So anyway, okay, so thanks a lot, phone, for checking me. We're all coming back, so you didn't win. The only thing I will need to do is I had made something. Oh, and it's already done. Well, <laughs> on you phone, we did this without you. So, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, so those of you who are back, welcome back. And if I said hello to you on the first part in the first nine minutes before the phone checked us, sorry. I'll just say hi again. Um, anyway, so today is Sunday, February the 17th. Crazy weather out there. Um, crazy things, you know, going on. And, um, hey, Tammy from upstate New York. Yep. Oh, she's heading to Virginia to visit her daughter and granddaughter. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Um, anyway, so hopefully you all are coming back. Um, if you're new, well, I'd like to say hi, hello to everyone. And thank you again, Barbara, for telling everyone to, you know, the thumbs ups and the hearts if, you know, if you're live. And I can see that Barbara has sent a message, um, on my phone. Um, but anyway, so Barbara, I'll have to look at that later. But thank you for that. Um, if you're live and if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. And this one will for sure be going on the blog www.ifyouhaveanegg.com because I made some cute little notes to go and I'm, I'll have to read them on the phone instead of on the iPad since the phone object. Anyway, so yeah, here we are again, middle of February. February is almost gone. It is almost over somehow. So who remembers who attended a meeting last week or i'm sorry a workshop last week so who sat their bottom who sat their bottom in a little chair hello bonnie from crowley texas so who sat their bottom in a little chair at a workshop last week i did so i'm going to raise my hand give me a thumbs up if you're live with us tonight give me a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a little chair for a workshop um and yes sylvia will be talking about the candied bacon the turkey version of the candied bacon here in just a few minutes um but so if you're live with us, do a thumbs up. If you attended your workshop, if you sat your bottom in a little chair, do that. Do a little thumbs up. And if you're not watching this with us live, if you're watching this later on YouTube um, or on Facebook, um, then um, you, you just have to comment below. And hello, Marlene from Florida. And if you did both, if you attended with us here last week um, or did both, let's see some hearts. 
Y'all know what to do. So those of you that have been here for a little while know what to do. So I see some hearts. There's lots of them going up. I see lots of hearts and thumbs ups. Yep. So here are your Bravo stickers. Bravo, everyone. Yeah, so if you're new to our group, um, we still give out Bravo stickers, even though I can't actually hand them to you, but here you go. Here are your Bravo stickers. So good job, everybody. Does everybody remember, does any of everybody remember what, um, what the subject was last week? Do you remember what your topic was last week and what your homework was? So who did your homework? We had a mediocre, had a mediocre um, homework. And um, yeah, Trish tried chicken bacon for the first time today. Yeah, what'd you think about that? And hey, Kathy. So here remembers what your homework was. We had a mediocre turnout this week for our homework. Not a whole lot of people. Oh, Barbara's back. Hello, Barbara. Yes, Barbara, we were just thanking you for reminding everybody to do the thumbs ups and the hearts. Um, but what was your homework last week? Cause it was kind of lackluster. I think I only had less than 10. I think I had less than 10 and Trish liked the chicken bacon. I think I had less than 10 people do their homework or maybe it was less than 10 people tag me. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, so your homework for last week. Last week was, this was your weekly last week, eating out. And we had some very interesting, um, yeah, Lynn loves Bravo stickers and she loves her Bravo shirt, yay. We had some very interesting things that we found out last week um, when we were talking about eating out. And um, yeah, some of them were shocking. So the, ch the chicken flatbread, the grilled chicken flatbread um, at um, um, Olive Garden, that one was the most shocking. And yes, yes, Tedders, know before you go, hashtag know before you go. So look it up, do whatever you need to to look it up, do it, whatever you need to to find, you know, to find out what, it, you know, what it is. Um, and my Christy did last year's homework, homework again. <laughs> what? I don't remember what last year's homework was, but, but anyway, so, Okay, so your homework was to eat out. This was a perfect excuse, and yes, I know this is backwards, but um, this was a perfect excuse since it was Valentine's week, but your homework um, for eating out was to was to write yourself a note, and I did post it on um, Facebook, and it's on the blog on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com if you need to go there and copy it. And the um, so what it says is, before I go to blank on blank, I will blank. While I'm there, I will blank and so you so you just fill in the blanks so mine was and of course it hasn't happened yet because it's not until march the 17th but mine was before i go to saint patty's all day party on our 30th anniversary which is march the 17th i will stay in my points all week and save rollovers and weeklies while i'm there i will enjoy the good company and walk as much as i can so those of you who did those of you who did your homework you did a great job you did a great job and betty says she rarely eats out so if you oh it snowed pam didn't get to go because it snowed so and so if you didn't get a chance to eat out what about do you go to other people's houses to eat very often so maybe you could use the dining out plan you know you could use your dining out plan homework you could use it for if you're going to you know someone else's you could go ahead and you know and plan for how you're going to handle that but just a quick recap, since we lost some time, ah, it's already 8.17, so maybe not a quick recap. Anyway, we lost some time due to my phone deciding to restart, so, um, but we found out some interesting things we had um, last week, and that chat is up in two different, two different chats. So if you want to go back and watch it on youtube.com, search if you have an egg, the whole version, so the whole hour, and I think it was like an hour and seven minutes, that is on as chat number 110. And it's chat number 110, eating out, yes. So you can either search um, if you have an egg on YouTube or you can search um, WW chat number 110 or eating out question mark, yes. And you sh surely to goodness with one of those, you should be able to pull it up. But then Casey separated the two videos. So the first one is the full hour and seven minutes that we had. The second one is just the second part, the fluff part of the chat, which is 20, 27 minutes, I think, 26, 27, maybe, 20, maybe 28 minutes. It's right under 30 minutes. And that was the no before you go um, portion. And that is the part where we had, um, where we did this, where we found out, you know, found out some interesting things about, you know, some of our favorite places to eat. So, you know, so you'll have to go back and watch that. So it was chat number 110. Um, and you can go watch that. And if you just want to watch the, the fluff portion of it, you can. And that's just the hashtag, know before you go. Okay, so, um, and the people that did your homework, very good. Y'all get extra Bravo stickers. Okay, this week, this week's topic. Oh, and also, I did make the video, 
yesterday, I guess. I think I got, yeah, I got left at work by myself yesterday. Hey, Carla. Um, for about an hour and a half, um, you know, waiting before I could go somewhere. Um, John was out of town and I didn't want to set the alarm and wake him up. But anyway, so I did shoot the video for how to get your weekly, for how to print that off. But I also discovered in that that now the weekly is not downloadable as a PDF. You have to save it as two JPEG pictures. So the front as one and the back as another one. And then you can print them off. But you used to be able to just download it as a, as a PDF. I don't know if that'll come back or not. Don't know why it's gone. Um, but it would not let me download it as a PDF. Um, so I just had to save it as a picture. But I will post that video. Casey has to help me with the music because I never can remember. I never can remember how to get the music on there. Anyway, so she'll help me with that. I mean, she will help me with that tomorrow, I'm sure. But this is this week's. This is the one that I download or upload or save or whatever in the video that we'll have. Um, but it is Be Kind to Yourself, which was convenient, right, you know, during the week of um, Valentine's Day. But this week's um, recipe looks much better. Last week's, I didn't like it. I don't like the way it looks. It looks creepy to me. Hello, Judy. It looks creepy to me. I don't know. I just don't like it. This one looks much better to me. And I forget, I forget those little white things. Those are gnocchi. And I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but um, I lived in Italy for a summer and that was how we pronounced it. And they brought it to us. So it must be close, but it's G-N-O-C-C-H-I, gnocchi. Um, but that has gnocchi in it. And I definitely want to try that. Anyway, that's the recipe from last week. So don't forget to pull that up and don't forget to print that off, but be kind to yourself. Okay. So I have a question for you this week is, and this is chat number 111. So this week's chat, the one that we're having right now, and thank you Loretta says I'm saying it correctly. So the one that we're, the chat that we're having right now is chat number 111, be kind to yourself. So if you go back to look it up later on YouTube, just look for chat number 111, be kind to yourself. Um, so I have a scenario to run by you. Okay, this week um, we started, oh, thank you Susie. This week we started um, selling Girl Scout, we didn't start, but Girl Scout cookie time is here. So it's Girl Scout cookie time in East Tennessee. And um, they're luckily not downtown yet. So I have not seen any of them um, so far and I'm going to avoid them like the plague. But let me ask you this. So if you were at your Weight Watchers workshop or if somebody here, you know, or if somebody in our closed group said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the Girl Scouts got me. Um, I bought a box of, I'm just going to pick one, tagalongs. I bought a box of tagalongs and I ate an entire sleeve. I bought a, this is not me, this is a scenario. So if somebody in your, in your group, if somebody in your, um, closed group, or, I mean, in our closed group, or if someone in, hello, Melissa from Kentucky. So if someone in your, in, a, in your closed group or someone he, in our closed group or someone from your workshop or, you know, or somebody else that you knew, you know, was doing, um, you know, WW and was doing great with it, you know, having great success. If they said, I bought a box of tagalongs and I ate an entire sleeve, what would you say to them? What would you say? And I seriously want y'all to answer. I'm going to read some of them out loud. So another WW friend or just an acquaintance or somebody at your workshop says, I bought a, you know, bought a box of earth in mints, you know, whatever. And I ate and, and I, oh, what was I thinking? I ate an entire sleeve, I ate an entire sleeve of cookies. What would you say? And y'all are a little bit delayed. Come on, I need some answers. What would you tell that person? Come on. Yep. Donna says, put it behind you. Just put it behind you. Yep, Betty just didn't even bother get it. Jennifer would say, track it and move on. I don't wonder how many points a whole sleeve would be. I do have, we do have a Girl Scout cookie post on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Sylvia would say, don't beat yourself up, track it and move on. Casey said, at least that means you're closer to getting back on track. Susie said, get rid of the other sleeve and move on. Lacey says, you can eat them, but portion it out and enjoy. Lynn says, give the rest of them away. She would tell him to get the rest of them away. Carol says, she can do without them. I don't know what packs Z are. You'll have to tell us what that is. Joyce says track it and move on. Marlene says count the points and move on. My Christy says it happens. What you're going to do tomorrow instead. What are you going to do tomorrow instead of eating more cookies? That's a great one. Paula said, okay, just don't eat the other sleeve. That's a good one. Kathy says move forward. We all have slips. Kim says, I would say there's only 10 per box, so that's not too bad. 
Karen says, get back on track and move on. Tag says, I would have eaten the whole box, just track it. Janet says, peanut butter ones came home with me. Oh, she gave them to her husband and she had two. Very good. Sarah says, yes, track it and move on. Kathy says, were they good? Did you enjoy them? Today's a new day. Sharon says, was it worth it? Tedder says, track it and get moving again. Stacy says, give the other half away. Track it as your weeklies. And now let's go for a walk. That's a great one. Pam says, track it and move on to a salad. Joyce says, throw the rest in the trash. Barbara says, let it, let it go, let it go. Yeah, one of mine and Alyssa's favorite songs. Yep, and Kathy says, don't beat yourself up. Hit the reset button. Okay, I have to stop with Kathy's. Now, what would you do if you bought a box of, and ooh, need some more of your answering, yay. And we'll read the rest of them later. Um, or I will go back and read the rest of them later. Thank you, keep, you keep doing that. So what would you do if you had bought a box of Girl Scout cookies? So let's say they were tag-alongs or thin mints. Let's say you bought a box of Girl Scout cookies and you brought them home and your husband called you and said, your husband or, your, or one of your kids called you and said, hey, I ate a whole sleeve of those Girl Scout cookies. What would you say to them? So if your husband or one of your kids called and said, hey, you know those Girl Scout cookies that you brought home? I ate a whole sleeve of them. What would you say to them? And these comments are gonna look funny to other people, to other people later because they'll be out of context <laughs> because they won't, you know, they're not gonna know. So if your husband or your kid called and said, hey, that box of Girl Scout cookies that you, okay, Stacy says she would say, thank you. Yeah? JJ said you would say thanks. Mm hmm Oh, Sylvia said, you're dead. Barbara said, it's okay. I hope you enjoyed them. Paula would say thank you. Yeah, a lot of us would be ready to get rid of them. Sharon would say, good, less for me, LOL. My Christy says, did you leave me any? Go buy me another box. Lacey says, that's okay. I didn't need all of them. Joyce would say thank you. So a lot of thank yous. Judy said, thank you, not there for me to eat. Sylvia said, that's okay. Pam says, good, then I can't eat them. Carol Lou says, were they good? And did you enjoy them? Oh yeah, that was, I think from the first one, Betty said, thank you. So a lot of thank yous. Okay, so since it's already 829, I'm gonna ask you the third question. The third question is, what if you were home alone? You were home alone and you had that same box of Girl Scout cookies and you were puttering around the house, watching TV, I don't know, something had happened at work, you know, whatever, and you look down and you had eaten an entire sleeve of Girl Scout cookies. So you, you had to tell yourself, oh, uh, uh oh, look, I'm at the bottom of a sleeve. I'm at the bottom of a sleeve of Girl Scout cookies. I've eaten an entire sleeve. What would you say to yourself? What would you say to yourself if that happened? Barbara says, OMG. So what would you say to yourself? Because I know what I would say to myself. I've done it before. So I've gotten home with a box of Girl Scout cookies and mine are not tag, my favorites are not tag-alongs or thin mints. That's why I picked those two. <laughs> and Sylvia says, oh darn, oh darn. Walk time. Susie says, dang it, what a waste. Carol says, y'all can't say that, darn. Sylvia says, I know I can't, I know I can't eat the first one, and if I did it, that might happen. I'd be mad at myself. Yeah, Kathy says, I would be much harder on myself. Tag says, I know I'll beat myself up. Loretta says, I would say to myself, what the heck is wrong with you? But were they good? Marlene says, there went my weeklies. Carla says, oh my gosh, where's the other sleeve? LOL. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Joy says, I would probably gain 10 pounds. Pam says, I'd swear like a sailor. Donna said, I'm a failure. Again. Betty says, throw up, LOL. My Christy says, let's calculate the points and see how many zero-point foods I have in the house. Okay, that's a good one. Kathy says, I'd be so mad and then go to the gym. Wanda says, I need to track the cookies and my activity level, LOL. Bernice says, would feel horrible, but would track it and move on. Tedder says, oh no, now I have to track this and hit the reset button. Joyce says, track it and crush the rest and grow and grow out. Yeah. Donna says, might as well finish off the box. How many times? Have you been there? Yeah, and Lynn says salad for dinner. And the last one, Melissa says, great going, doof. Do you know how long I will have to work out now? Okay, so why, because I've done it too. And yeah, and the, uh-oh, where's the other sleeve has been an issue at my house. You know, and I picked tag-alongs and thin mints because those are not my Girl Scout cookies of choice. So those are not a problem for me. I could let those sit. Um, so, do-si-dos, 
oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times, how many times I've said, okay, I'm gonna get dosy -si dos, I'm gonna take them home, I'm gonna put them into individual Ziploc baggies, which is fine, you can do that. You can have Girl Scout cookies. You do not have to eliminate Girl Scout cookies, you know, from your list. But how many times I've planned to go home, portion them out, you know, and just have, you know, a couple a night or whatever. And then I end up eating the whole sleeve. And then I think, well, you know, I ate one sleeve, might as well eat the other sleeve, you know? Why are we so hard on ourselves though? Why are we so hard on ourselves? We just had the same people. If I go back and look at all of these messages, I promise you it's gonna be the exact same people who were so kind and gave such good, good tips of advice to people um, that were in the same situation, you know, to people who had just done the exact same thing. And you didn't, fuss, nobody, uh, one person, I think one or two people fussed at their, um, at their family, um, but they were glad, you know, glad that they were gone. But why are we so hard on ourselves? Why? So let me just say from our, you know, from our weekly, did you know that, well, you all know that you're gonna have ups and downs on your journey and you might think tough love, tough love will help you focus, but self-criticism can actually lead you to feel less focused and less confident. When you're kind to yourself, research shows. So some smart people have figured out that when you are kind to yourself, you tend to have greater well-being. You also take care of yourself in healthy ways like eating well and moving more. What's more, self-compassionate people are more likely to maintain their weight loss. That's good news for all of us, yeah. So if you're just kinder to yourself. So in our weekly, they have three things that they want us to think about. Number one, think about times when you felt bad about yourself, what do you typically say to yourself? We've all done it, we've all beat ourselves up. Number two, now imagine that a close friend feels bad about themselves or is struggling in some way, what would you say to them? Number three, is there a difference? I'm gonna say, almost for sure, there's a difference. Um, and if so, why? Think about what you might change if you treat yourself as a friend. Okay, so I'm gonna talk more about this in the second part of our chat, and I'm so sorry, we will definitely run over a little bit tonight because of the phone situation. Again, thanks, Apple. Um, but what I want you all to do for your homework, I, in the second part of our chat tonight, I'm gonna to talk about nine things that make me, and y'all know how much I love hashtags, and I'm probably driving all the kids crazy making up all these really long hashtags, and I'm not even sure that's how you're supposed to use them. So, sorry children, moms and grandmas are taking over um, social media so we can hashtag whatever we want to. Um, but I wrote down nine things that, um, that make me hashtag I am a, su a success. And yes, I know this is backwards, but I will post this later. Your homework is to come up with three things, just three, because y'all know I like three. Come up with three things that make you hashtag I am a success. Um, and again, we'll talk about this more in the second half, but um, which is gonna start here in just a second. But um, we really do need to learn how to be um, kinder to ourselves. I am preaching to the choir. Um, I have to write this down for myself. Um, I have to have physical things in front of me that say, hey, 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 hey. Stop beating yourself up. Cut it out. Cut it out. Stop beating yourself up and stop beating yourself up about beating yourself up. You know what I mean? Um, but I wrote down nine things and we are going to talk about them in the second half of the chat, which we'll start here in just a minute. But your homework is to do three. So I want you to find three things that you can write down that make you a hashtag I am a success and tag me in it if you're going to post it here on the page where we're having a live chat right now just hash i'm um, sorry just tag may do the at sign at if you have an egg and it will tag me and i will see it if you we are in our um if we are <laughs> loretta silly loretta um if you are doing this in our closed group you need to do the at sign and kelly green milligan and by the time you get the g kelly and the g put in i'm gonna pop up and if you're so if you're tagging me there if you're tagging me on instagram tag if you have at the at symbol if you have an egg and if you are tagging my um tagging me in on connect it is at scrap and stamp too okay and i just wanted to let you all know before we switch over to the fluff portion that the turkey bacon recipe the candied turkey bacon recipe is up now on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com and if it is not already the first thing um up then you're just going to type you're just have to search 
um, candied turkey bacon. But I had that for breakfast this morning and it was, oh, it was delicious. Okay, so now let's grab my wayward phone so I can have my list. Silly phone, hopefully it has already, hopefully it has already reset itself now. Um, and let's see, I believe it has. So first of all, thanks a lot phone for resetting or for doing the update right in the middle of the live chat. Um, and these are, because I know I will get asked, these are one point per slice and it is turkey bacon because we have a lot of people in our closed group that either um, don't need to be eating pork due to health reasons or they just don't eat pork or they prefer turkey, you know? I mean, some people just prefer the taste of turkey bacon. So, uh, I can't just set it there and it, and it be there. Anyway, yeah, so that is the candy turkey bacon. Okay, so, hi Judy. Oh, Judy's saying hi to Pam. Um, anyway, so, this is the end of our classroom portion. So this is the end of the official um, meeting portion. And I'm gonna take a quick break yeah, I know, Wanda. I'm gonna take a quick break and get a sip of water and then we will go on to the fluff portion. So, class is over. Let's see, I guess that would be class. No, that's church, that's church. What is class? This is church. Hmm, I should know what class is. Anyway, class is over, is dismissed. And hold on for the fluff portion. I'll be right back. See, so I'll get to watch, watch me drink my water. Okay, so we are back. <clears throat> and has anybody watched the chat in the two parts? So is it beneficial for Casey to do the fluff portion as a separate video because that takes her twice as much work? So I just wanna make sure before she you know, keeps on doing it. But anyway, we are back. This is the fluff portion um, of chat number 111. See, hands go around and meet each other, let's see. So, oh, I think I know that. So class, this is class, and then this is room. Is that right? So yes, Sylvia, it is. So that's class and room. Okay, anyway, and let's see, I think um, Popsicle got this for me. So is Popsicle here tonight? She got this, she got this cutest mug for me, but um, okay, so this is part two. So we are now currently doing the fluff. So this is part two of chat number 111, be kind to yourself. So in the first part of the chat, um, so the first part of the chat, and these will all, it will all, okay, so I'm sorry, Judy said she likes the way she, we're doing it all together now. So um, we, they will still all be together. So the first one she's doing, they're all together. So it'll be the first part of the chat and this, and then, oh man, so I did class box. Okay, anyway, we'll figure out we'll figure out classroom later. And hello, Stacey. But anyway, so, but she's also doing just the fluff portion as a separate. So if somebody just wants to watch the fluff, the fluff portion. So this is the fluff portion from chat number 111, which was be kind to yourself. So the homework for chat number 111 um, was to do three things that make you a hashtag I am a success. So I did nine things. So it's true confession time. Um, hello, Inez. It is true confession time. Um, and this week was perfect for this because I was beating myself up really badly, um, probably for about a month, three to four weeks. So last year, um, last year had a lot of parent things going on in the, you know, a lot of parents in the hospital um, at, at one point or another for months, either my mom or my dad or my mom and my dad, or like they were tagging out you know, one of them would be in the hospital and the other one would tag out. Um, we were getting all of our schedules adjusted um, for Alyssa. Hello, Johnny. We were getting all of our schedules adjusted for Alyssa. Um, Karen and I were having a lot of setbacks on being able to walk. Um, she's having some back and leg issues and me with having parents in the hospital. So anyway, we just had a lot of stuff going on. So I am currently, as of last Tuesday, which was um, February, let me think, today's the 17th. I don't remember what day it was. Anyway, whatever day last Tuesday was. So I will see last Tuesday's chat or last Sunday's chat was the 10th, 11th, 12th. So February the 12th. So as of February the 12th, I am 15 pounds over my goal weight. And um, it didn't happen overnight. You know, I didn't go to Disney and gain 15 pounds and come back with it, you know. So since it took me about seven or eight months, I guess, to gain that, 
um, it's been hanging around and I've been having a hard time getting rid of it. So I've been doing the same thing that we all do. You know, I go down two pounds, up two pounds, down two pounds, up two pounds, down two pounds, up two pounds. So, hello, Lindsay. So this was a great time for, um, for me to do the hashtag I am a success, the be kind to yourself um, topic for this week was the perfect time for me to do that. I am asking you all to do to find three things that make you a success. Um, I did nine um, just because I'm an overachiever. And so I just like to go over my nine because hashtag I am a success. Um, I have been a successful lifetime member. Yeah, and the medication was part of it, Barbara. Yeah, so Barbara reminded me the medication was part of it. My doctor changed my medication. And to be honest, <laughs> the medication I hated, I hated it hated it and I was just like daring people to to say are you supposed to have that or to you know whatever um but I'm I was having trouble getting back um back to normal I guess you know after all that so what I decided to do this week because John um is out of town um is to write down nine things for me but I'm going to share them with you but nine things that um make me a hashtag I'm a success so I wrote down nine things when I was at my lowest weight or, you know, and or at goal weight, because I was at goal weight for two years. I mean, at goal weight, like within two pounds of goal weight for two years. And then it's just been in this, you know, that last eight or nine months, you know, that it kind of, you know, yeah, the medicine, parents in the hospital, you know, just a lot of, anyway, a whole lot of things, you know, got it back up. So here are nine things that made me successful. That's not the only things, but here are nine things that I made myself a list and see, I will post this later, but here's my list. But I made a list of nine things that made that helped me to be a success. So, and Judy, I'll have to go back and see what you're, you know, what you're saying. So, no, you're not a failure. Okay. So, when I got to 15 pounds overweight, I did the exact same thing everybody else does. Everybody else. We are all normal here. So, that's why we're here is because we're normal. So, I did all the classic things what was it first denial so I denied that I was 15 pounds over goal yeah that's kind of hard to deny so I kept telling myself you're 10 pounds over you're 10 pounds over you're 10 pounds over you are 10 pounds over no I'm 15 pounds over so denial was first then I got mad you know well I can't help it because my parents are in the hospital and things are going on and we're trying to move at work and blah 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 blah, blah and my medicine and I hate my medicine so I got mad um then I got sad um, I got sad about it, um, you know, and thought, gosh, I'm stupid, you know, I'm lazy, um, why can't I do this, you know, here we go again, you know, I'm just going to gain it all back again, and then this last week, I was like, okay, we got to get a grip on this, I'm not stupid, I'm really not, none of you all are either, I'm not lazy, um, definitely not lazy, I work, I run a business, I take care of Alyssa, I take care of two aging parents. Um, I keep a house, not a clean house, but I keep a house and I do all of this every week. I'm certainly not lazy. Um, and um, the, um, uh, so, and another one was, I didn't, you know, I, you don't deserve it. Um, just, you know, on and on and on and on and on. So I went back and thought, I was like, you know what? I'm not stupid. I'm not lazy. I know how to do this. I do deserve it. I do deserve to be healthy. So I went back and wrote down nine, the nine main things that helped me to be a success. And I'm going back to all of them. And we have, you know, we've got a couple of chats, you know, about things like this. And we had the one chat. Um, did I keep the little things? Oh, no, I think I covered them all up. Anyway, I'll have to go back and see what that chat number is. But here are my nine because it's already 842. And so, and I know we're going to, you know, we're going to blow through this. So, and I'm telling you, I'm already seeing a difference. So just these nine, and I've been doing them Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So for five, so for five days, I've been doing these nine things. If I don't get anything else done, I do these nine things. Okay. The, my first one is start your day. So when I was at goal and doing great staying at goal, I was starting my day every single day. Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday or whatever you want to call it. I started every single day with some form of breakfast. If I was at home, I ate breakfast before I ever went into work. Um, if we were traveling, I started my day every single day. Well, I got into um, a habit 
last year, you know, again, because of the stuff with my parents and whatever, of waiting until, um, waiting until I got to work to eat breakfast while I was making it and then taking it with me. And then guess what? I'd get to work and immediately, immediately somebody would need my attention. I mean, I'm talking, it didn't matter if I went to work at 8.15 or at 5.30 in the morning, immediately somebody needed my attention. Well, then the breakfast would go in the refrigerator and then I would find myself at lunch or at, you know, a couple of hours after that, not going back to the breakfast that I had brought, but I was eating, you know, out of the snack box. I had gone back to eating those peanut butter crackers every day. Um, so it doesn't take willpower to stay out of the peanut butter crackers in the snack, in the snack thing. What it takes is a full tummy or a happy tummy. So that's why I made an entire batch of the candied turkey bacon this morning. So I had two pieces for breakfast this morning and I've got enough to have for breakfast for the next three mornings. So I already don't have to worry about that. That's already done. I can just heat it back up. That's already done. So start your day. So for me, it's important to start my day every single day and not wait because it's not gonna happen if I wait. The second one is drink like a fish. So y'all can see I've broken back out the big mugs. So when, when I was at goal weight, Every single morning before I had my first cup of coffee, I drank the entire, so with my coffee mug, I drank the entire coffee mug with water first. So I made myself drink water first, that whole mug of water. Then I could have my cup of coffee. Then I had to keep something like this with me all day long and just sip water all day long. Sip, 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 sip. Here's what happens if I don't drink like a fish. Number one, I get parched. Number two, I think I'm hungry and I'm not hungry. And then I go start hitting that snack box again. Number three, if I don't if I don't keep it up, then a customer will come in or somebody else will come in or whatever, and it'll get later and later and later and later and later and later and later in the day. And then I haven't I don't haven't had anything to drink. And you know, if you get dehydrated, weird things start to happen too. So drink like a fish. I'm gonna drink all day long. And I've done that for the last five days, and I'm gonna tell you, I've probably lost two pounds running back and forth to the bathroom. Okay, the next one is veg out. So I had gotten to where I was eating low point things, like zero point things, but I was eating a lot of fruit um, and a lot of like beans and corn and things like that. So, um, so veg out. So one of the things I did today or yesterday, I stopped at the store and in an effort to remind myself to, you know, stop and eat some vegetables too. Don't just eat fruit. We've talked about this. I don't, I don't do well if I have more than five servings of fruit a day. So I went ahead and got some mini cucumbers and I got some, um, some baby carrots because they're, you know, kind of sturdy. And then I got a couple of things of fun hummus. I got some that I had never seen before. Lantana, this is Lantana Hatch Chili Hummus and it is two smart points for two tablespoons absolutely delicious some of you all are gonna think this is hot I don't think it's hot at all um but this is absolutely delicious and I'm so glad that the guy at Publix said oh hey did you see the new one and I was like no I didn't but it is made with white beans topped with diced green chilies really good I had that for lunch today and then this one for a fun snack strawberry hummus how fun is that yeah two smart points for two um tablespoons so um but veg out I've started adding vegetables back to my breakfast again. And I'm telling you, I'm already, I can already tell a difference. It's been five days and I can already tell a difference. And I will check back in with you all on Tuesday and let you know how it's going. Okay, this one's a big one. And it's some of you all are gonna go, I can't do it. Okay, my next one, track like your weight depends on it. Because you know what? It does. So when I don't track, I don't care how good I am, how good I am. I don't care how diligent I am. I don't care how much willpower I think I have. I'm telling you, willpower has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it. You have to, you have to create your surroundings. You have to make yourself, um, you know, you have to make surroundings that are gonna help, that are gonna help you. And that, that is Lantana. Um, Betty wouldn't know what brand it is. It's Lantana. Um, but the track like your weight depends on it, it does. You're gonna have to track and it's not hard. I mean, it does not have to be hard. Um, I mean, I know a girl, there was a girl in our group, um, she was in our, um, our um, physical meeting and she didn't do paper tracking. She did not have, um, oh, I'm sorry. And JJ wants to know how I'm adding veggies at breakfast. So I love steamed snow peas. So almost every morning I've had steamed snow peas. Or sometimes I'll like chop up some um, 
peppers and onions, and onions don't really like me, but peppers and mushrooms, things like that, and put them in my eggs. Um, but, um, whoa. Jackie's at 2,670 in tracking points. Wow, what is that? What do you mean? Um, but anyway, she didn't like paper trackers. She wasn't on, um, uh, she didn't do um, online, so like eTool, so she couldn't track there. So she literally just had a board in her kitchen and she would write down, hello Dolly, she would write down, you know, how many points she had eaten. She wasn't writing down what it was. I prefer to know what it was, but she was just writing down, you know, like three, five, whatever, you know, and she would know how many, she would know how many points that she, oh, wellness wins. Oh, I get it. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, but she would write it down, um, and we were going to have to hurry because now the battery is getting low in the iPad. But um, anyway, so she she would just write it down. But track like your weight depends on it because it does. The next one, just walk away. Hello, Sue. The next one is just walk away. So whether it is food or um, somebody that's irritating or bothering you or... Um, just a situation, just walk away. So I'm not saying that I'm walking away from my parents. I have not abandoned my parents, but there's been a few things I've just had to walk away from. I've had to say, somebody else is gonna have to handle that. Somebody else is gonna have to take care of that. I've just gotta walk away. Or sometimes walk away means walking. Sometimes it means I just need to walk away from a situation at work and just take a little walk. Um, but. I'm having to say no to some things. Um, Casey asked me to watch Alyssa for a little while yesterday, or no, she asked if I wanted to, and I had, as much as I hated it, I had to say, I said, no, I've got some things I need to get done because I had some things I needed to take care of. Okay, two a days. We're already, uh, it's getting close, I think. Let me see, and there's only 10% left on the iPad. No, we still got 10 minutes left. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take you all over here for a second and plug up the iPad because now that we've already had the issue with the phone, it's making me nervous. So we are going to, y'all are going to come over here in the loft and you can see, sorry to the YouTube people who are watching this later and are thinking, what the heck is wrong with this girl? Why does, why can't she get it together today? Okay. It's just me. It's just me and it's just today. Okay. So let me grab my phone. And I'm feeling so disorganized today, but you know what? I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. I can't help it. Wasn't my idea. I didn't tell Apple to restart my phone. So, and hey, Kathy from South Carolina. So, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it because today's all about self-love. Okay, so just walk away. We were talking about that. Sometimes you just have to walk away from a situation. So, um, <laughs> like this, you know, the phone freaking out. Just have to walk away. There's not much I can do about it. Okay, the next one is two a day. So I know if any of y'all have kids or have like, um, especially boys that are doing football, um, you all know what two a days are. And I'm gonna move this up here just a little bit because I feel like I'm sitting on the floor. But anyway, especially if you have boys, um, you know what two a days are. Those are, you know, when they have um, practice and drills and things, you know, twice a day. So when I was at my goal weight, I was doing not really two a days, but I pretty much was. So I was walking in the morning and then um, walking again in the afternoon or going to Planet Fitness with Casey six days a week. So instead of trying to squeeze in, you know, an hour and you don't have to spend an hour exercising, you know, we've talked about this. You can split it up. You can split it up throughout the day. You do not have to do it all at one time. Um, but I was doing, um, so instead of trying to cram it all in at one time, I was walking 20 to 30 minutes in the morning and then either walking with Karen for, you know, like 45 minutes at night um, or going to Planet Fitness, Planet Fitness with Casey. And I was doing, um, but I was doing that twice a day, every day, um, six days a week. So Tuesdays are my rest day. We have an early meeting on Tuesdays. And we and that's my WW meeting is that night. So I start my day at a seven at a meeting at seven o'clock in the morning, and I end my day with a WW meeting at seven o'clock. So that's a twelve-hour day. So and I mean, and I have lots of twelve-hour days, but that one that Tuesdays are absolutely packed. So I do not try to exercise on those days. But with parents being in the hospital and you know and whatever I was doing, at best one a days one a days and on a lot of days i was doing zero a day because i was you know tired and i just wasn't taking time for myself so i'm back to doing two a days i've done it 
five days in a row. I didn't do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I've done it five days in a row and I'm telling you, I'm already feeling a difference. Okay, number eight. Remember, I'm doing nine. I only asked you all to do three, so you only have to do three for your homework, but I'm doing nine. Nine ways that hashtag I'm a success. Um, so number eight, snack time. I am a big proponent of snacks, and I'm telling you these last five days, it has been so nice to get to the end of my day, and because I've tracked everything, because I've been tracking like, like my weight depends on it, to get to the end of my day and go, oh, I have points for this left. I have points for such and such left. And like today, I went ahead and got some, I had stopped at Kroger to get some garlic for my supper tonight. And um, the Kroger brand of the lighter ice cream, oh my goodness, I already snuck a taste of it. Holy cow, holy cow. Does it, does it taste good? And it's three, I'll show it to you all later. I won't show it to you during the chat, but it's three smart points for a half of a cup. But it's been nice this last five days, I've gotten to the end of every evening, and like tonight, I have saved points for that, but I've gotten to the end of every e every evening and I have had, um, you know, points left for a snack. So I think it's very important, I think it's very important to end my day um, with a snack time. So I've been, you know, I've been sure to do that. And the snacks I was going to show you are back over there away from the phone charger. So we're not going to look at them. But some of my favorite snacks are like Skinny Pop popcorn. Um, the, um, sorry. Yeah, that was number seven. I'm sorry. That was number seven, not number nine. Anyway, so, um, yeah, number seven was snack time. Uh, yeah, number seven was snack time. Anyway, so, um, the snacks I was going to show you, I can't bring over, I can't reach over there since we are plugged in. But yes, it's number seven. Calm down. Calm down. I know I got excited. But anyway, so, and I can't count, obviously. But anyway, so, um, skinny pop popcorn, um, jello, sugar free pudding, the kind that's already, um, already made, the, um, uh, gel, just sugar-free jello and I like it with some fruit in it you know and a little bit of fat-free um, whip but I always save I always save points you know um, for snacks um, and taking pictures is number eight so taking pictures of my food you do not have to take pictures of your food but for me taking pictures of it and then posting it even if I don't get around to posting it is just a it's a pictorial you know thing for me and and if I didn't get to track it before I ate it then I, you know, I can go back and recreate it because how many times, how many times have you gone back? So how many times have you gone back to um, track something and you think, okay, I had this and this and this and this and this. Okay, yep, that's it. And you know, like three days later you go, uh oh, oh my gosh, I had such and such too. Oh, oh, and you didn't track that or you just never think about it. So if I take a picture of it, that way if I don't get to track it first, I can go back and you know track it later. Um, and two, it helps me remember some of the things that I ate, like if they were especially delicious, and I wanted to remember, um, and I wanted you know to remember them later, um, and you know and have them again. You know I can go back to it. Um, and honestly, if I'm going to take a picture of it, I make it um, prettier. I make it prettier because I'm going to take a picture, and. You know, I think things taste better if they look prettier. So if you've put them in a pretty presentation like the popcorn that I had last night, I had popcorn and a cup of hot tea and the bowl that I put it in because I was gonna take a picture, it was so pretty. It was so pretty that I'm serious. I think I enjoyed it more and I think I I think I ate it slower because it was in a pretty, you know, container, or, you know, in a pretty bowl instead of just opening the skinny pop bag and just eating straight out of it. Okay. And number nine, number nine is the last one, number nine. Number nine is, cause y'all know I love hashtags, is hashtag self love. So the self love is remembering I am smart. I, I do work hard. Um, I am, you know, I am into this and I'm, I am in this to win it um, and I do deserve this and you deserve this. So I think hashtag self love taking a little bit of time for ourselves making your list, making your list of three things um, that that make you, you know, hashtag I am a success. I think if you'll write them down, you know, having this written down, and I'm going to print this out for myself and put it on my refrigerator because honestly, that's the place I shop first um, when I'm looking for food that I don't need. 
Um, so I'm gonna, you know, put it there. I'm gonna keep it on my phone so that I can pull it up. I think you just need to remind yourself, you are worth this, you can do this, I promise. If I can do this, if I can do this, then you can do this. I promise, promise, promise. Um, I mean, I did this six times before I got it right. I'm not perfect. You're not gonna be perfect. We're all normal and we can do this. But anyway, so give yourself some um, self-love. It's what I needed. Oh, Kathy just said, I think this chat is exactly what I needed to hear today. Thank you, Kelly. Nope, you're welcome. Um, it's exactly what I needed to hear too. So anyway, give yourself some self-love. Make your list of three. Don't forget to tag me in it. Don't forget to go back. If you're just watching this, um, oh, and Trish wants to know if I can go over all of it again. Real quick, and I will post I will post it later. So you all have, you will have the, my list of nine later, but number one was to start your day, start with breakfast. Number two is drink like a fish, drink a lot of water. Number three is veg out, make sure and include your veggies. Number four is track like your weight depends on it, because it does. Number five was just walk away. Number six was two a days, you know, Divide it up if you're having trouble getting it in. You don't have to exercise all at one time. Number, um, so that was number six. Number seven is snack time. I'm enjoying saving some points for snacks at night. Number eight, um, and I just, this is me. You don't have to do this, is photograph your food. Um, you know, not whenever why I do it. And then number nine is self-love. So I will post this when I get done because um, I'm getting ready to have my snack. So you all have an awesome and amazing evening. And since I am holding on to the iPad, I'm not gonna go grab Dusty. And plus he is soaking wet. He is absolutely soaking wet. Um, let me scoot back over here real quick. Let's see, so that I can actually see you all because it's too bright over here. Okay, so anyway, I'm not gonna go get Dusty because I'm trying to hold on to the iPad. Um, and again, he's soaking wet because we went for a walk before we left. But, okay, so I wanna hear all of your great successes. Three things, I want y'all to do three things. Don't forget to tag me in it. And I hope y'all have an amazing week. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, see you later. Thanks for being here. Oh, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, Casey keeps fussing at me because I forget to say this. If you're watching this later on YouTube, pretty, 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 please subscribe. And I think it is, I think she put them here. I think she changed it to where they're over here. Anyway, please subscribe. Okay, and please share this with somebody who needs, who needs our group. So y'all have an, an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.